Good morning, my lovely Cancer, and welcome to your February reading. Even though this is for February, you can see this whenever it comes to you. My readings are always timeless. Take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the roles. You can be male, you can be female. Before we dig into the cards, we are going to just tap into some messages, some energies. There is a couple things that came true for you. First of all, I heard someone say, don't be so hard on yourself. You might not see how powerful you are, how beautiful you are, or how far you have actually come. Another thing is this feeling of peace, a relief. Something is being forgiven, something that has been very heavy to carry around with. Someone who was very close to you, it might be you or it might be someone who carries something that they want to or they want you to forgive. There is someone who was very close to you, who passed away a few years ago, I feel, that is helping you and working very closely with you in this month. There's something about February when it comes to the passing. It could be that this person passed away in February or that there is some kind of a celebration or something else that happened when this person was alive but there's something about February that's very significant for whoever is helping you you are going to get a lot of signs from this person especially when it comes to moving forward in life when it comes to moving yourself forward being brave there's a lot of bravery around you in you like you keep having this here this feeling of you being so brave, even if you might not realize it, you're so brave. The light will shine bright in your life soon. Another thing I heard for you is keep writing. So you guys might be writing on a book or this has something to do with affirmations or blessings, something with studying, whatever this is, the message for you is keep writing. There is a lot of opportunities coming to you that will make sure that you reach your goals. A lot of goals. A lot of doors are opening up. I heard never let go of your dreams. I see what you don't see. It's coming. Like someone is, I feel this is a spirit guide that's like trust me to guide you in the right direction or it's this person who might pass over who is helping you. Like, trust me to guide you and trust the moves that you do, the steps that you take. There is a family member who will help you this month. <laughs> There's knocking in the background from somewhere. <laughs> but someone, it's someone who's living. There's a lot of family energies, which actually makes sense with the past full moon we had in Cancer. I feel that you will get very emotional because of this, in a good way, because I see you smile. There's more fun things coming into your life, more fun adventures, opportunities, everything that you have dreamed about. I can see that my battery is blinking, so I am just going to change that before that we continue. But let's just dig into the cards. Let's see what you have. The ancient oat, oat, ancient oat spirit, number two, decisions. Kind of, look, well, yeah, it looks like fairies. Maybe you're connecting with fairies. Let's see what else you have. Stack, mm, trust and thrive. One thing that comes to me because I heard someone say they are listening they are listening which it could come down to different things this could be that spirit is listening to you nature is listening to you but I also feel that people are listening to you like people are listening to your words so I had this push in my stomach, so 
that being connected with the chakra area of our courage, our trust, our confidence. Believe and trust that people are listening to you. People really, like, there is this, I can't describe this, well, it's hard for me to describe this, but I have this, like, I hear someone talk and I listen. Like, I, I am mind blown, but I'm very peaceful while listening to someone. Hmm. And my phone was um, lighting up without anything being on it. So, a lot of confirmations. Now that I record this on the 25th of January, I feel that there is something that might happen on the 25th of February. Pay attention to that. Yeah. They are listening. Be in nature, hug a tree, listen to the trees. Because I feel there is a lot of intuitive messages for you. There's a lot of loving energies. I feel that you are very wise, like you have... There's something about you when, it's about, when it comes to speaking. Like, I, I don't even know who you are, but I just want to listen to you. I just want to... Yeah, maybe also it's actually interesting with this, like, keep writing. Maybe some of you guys are storytellers or you want to become that. Like, wow. <laughs> it's such a strange feeling because, you know, doing these, feel doing these feelings, doing these readings, I don't know who's watching them, but I feel that I know who you are. And I feel that I, at this moment, I'm sitting down in a warm room, like there's candles around, and there's a bunch of us sitting, listening to you. Like, no matter what you are teaching or what you are saying, but people love to listen to you. Maybe you are an artist, or you are a singer, or you are a YouTuber, or whatever creator you are, where people see you, if it's like in real, or if it's on TV, or yeah, on a computer screen screen people listen to you like you have a softness over you trust in that because that's something you carry with you you're way stronger than you think it's so important for you i feel especially with this stack um that you speak your truth speak your word truthfully with force don't be afraid of the words that is that you speak or don't be well it could also come down to your accent if you're from another country and you feel uncomfortable speaking english or f french or spanish or finnish or german whatever it might be if there's something new that you're learning don't worry because there's something that's being activated when it comes to your throat chakra some of you guys might have had tingling sensations or you wake up in the middle of the night um, coughing or you need to drink something or you have a sore throat it's because there's something is being activated because there's something you don't speak out that you are supposed to speak out speak more hmm. get it out could also be writing but it comes from your throat before we continue i'm just going to read up this lovely card look at the trees again synchronicities with the trees as the season of life turn remember your life and all your experiences are driven by the invisible wheels of love life is an eternal ocean and death and rebirth are the rising and falling of the same wave attached to every ending is a new beginning what is ending in your life, no matter what it is. You're stepping into the wave of love, speaking with the wave of love, or speaking with the energy of love. Trust what you say, what you speak, what you do. You're stepping into something new. Maybe there's something about rhyming, a poetry, because I felt that uh, it almost sounded like a, a rhyme. Six of Wands, definitely a card of success and, and fame. Not being afraid. It's interesting with this letting go because we do have the Ten of Wands and we do have um, a King of Wands. 
But let's see what else we have here. Creed of Pentacles. Hmm. Maybe you guys, or maybe some of you, are leaving a relationship. Or a job. Or a situation. Standing strong in your element. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who's very strong, very wise. Connected with Earth, a healer. It, th there's something about you and nature. And you are driven by success. You want that. But maybe some of you guys are not fully seeing the power of you. There might be a need of accept, ac accepting something that did work out. And obviously this could be connected with a person. It could be someone with heavy cancer or Leo. It could be someone with Sagittarius or Aries in that chart, male or female. But it could also just be you having the feeling that you can't move forward. You might feel that people are critical towards you or you are being critical to yourself. There might be a lack of energy. The candle keeps like making these moves is like flickerings but there is a lack of energy i feel there's something you need to say no to something that keeps you away from your energy maybe because you're just helping other people so much i mean cancer right yeah let's other people help you <clears throat> I feel that's very important. You really do need to believe in yourself and trust in your own power. Maybe you have Capricorn or Sagittarius somewhere in your chart that has something to do with your motivation, the way that you proceed or do things. Maybe it's in your mass. But I really feel there's something about you feeling secure in yourself and you're working a lot with your solar plexus, with the confidence turning everything that was unhealthy around. You're coming alive. And I really feel that nature is really going to be there for you. It's going to help you with that. Now you're being given some kind of new medicine, which is from nature, right? It's like your own energy, you're realizing that. Oh, well, I see some cards are... Oh, that's interesting. Some cards are actually turned. Wow. We have the Five of Wands, daring to actually play your cards right, daring to make a move, daring to accept and welcome in success. There's a lot of wands here, so there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of action. You're going to take action this month. There might be something with a job. Temperance is reversed, so again, don't hide yourself. You have the sun. I mean, wow, page of wands. There is some kind of imbalance, and I also feel that you might clash or you might bump heads with someone. Like, it keeps happening. It keeps happening. And it could be because of a female. It could be because of a male. It could be because of your ego. There might be some problems or some worries when it comes to money. Maybe you are afraid of making the move because you don't believe that you can make money with a certain thing. But the message for you is actually to look closer because I feel there is an opportunity for you here. Hmm. Temperance, Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius again. I wonder if some of you guys feel like you put more energy into a relationship than the other person does. So it could be because of a person. It could be because of a person. There is a lot of good news coming your way. Magical news. Don't let anything stop you from receiving these news. News of travel. News of joy. That's something you really want to put out there. And I feel that you are moving away from the competitive action of someone. Because someone has put something on you that feels wrong. Now we have the King of Swords, there's a lot of like, you know, the male energy is reversed, so it could be a person. Or someone who's very masculine, someone who maybe took a little bit too much control over you, made you feel like you were unworthy or something. 
the magician. It could be someone with Scorpio in that chart, or it could be, uh, well, yeah, it could be a trickster. Two of Cups. I feel like you're cutting ties with someone. It could also be a friend. It doesn't have to be a person. Seven of Pentacles. Maybe a job. Maybe it's a boss who just, you know, you just got enough. So we have a lot of different zodiac signs to go after. We also have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn. We are releasing the stress. It's so, so important for you to release this. Whatever it is that's stressing you, it gives you a headache. There's something that's almost ready. Keep writing. I mean, this keep writing could also just be a message for you to just keep doing. Keep doing whatever it is that you're do doing because you're going to receive the rewards very soon. But you need to let go of the stress. Also because obviously the Magician Reverse can also be a message for you to take action. Because if he is reversed, a she in this picture, there is a message that you need to take action now. It's time. It's time to put the anxiety and fear away and take action. Make a decision for yourself. Keep going, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up on this. I feel that is the message for you, Cancer. I really hope this could help you. Let me know in a comment below. And if you are in need of a private reading, healing session or removal of blocks, all information is down below. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next reading. Bye!